I'm here with Terry O'Keefe from OMVIC. Uh, so Terry, why don't you tell us what OMVIC stands for? OMVIC is the Ontario Motor Vehicle Industry Council, and we're Ontario's regulator of vehicle sales. Okay, uh, so OMVIC is sort of like a government body then? Well, we're a delegated authority. So what, we, that, what it means is we enforce the Motor Vehicle Dealers Act and Consumer Protection Act on behalf of the Ministry of Government and Consumer Services. Okay, um, so then your, uh, your organization can sort of, what, what does your organization do then? Probably the easiest way to explain it is we're, we're a law enforcement agency. Uh, we regulate the industry. All, de uh, all dealers and salespeople must be registered with OMVIC. Uh, so if there are compliance issues, we will investigate and, if necessary, prosecute those issues. And we also uh, deal with uh, unlicensed sales, curbsiders who are illegal unlicensed uh, dealers. And uh, our role is to protect consumers. Okay, and so how does somebody become registered with OMVIC? Uh, there's a number of different steps. If you wanted to become a salesperson, first you have to pass the OMVIC certification course. It's a course in automotive law and ethics because there are a lot of regulations uh, that govern this industry and of course you have to know what those are if you're going to operate with compliance. Uh, once that's done, you send your application into OMVIC. Uh, there's criminal background checks, those kinds of things. If you're applying to be a dealer, they're going to look into the financing behind the dealership. Uh, and once those checks are completed, then a license is issued. Uh, but without that license, you cannot legally uh, trade in vehicles in Ontario. So what are some of the biggest challenges that you face? Uh, with our registered dealer community, probably the biggest challenges we're facing right now have to do with all-in pricing and disclosure. In 2010, the laws were rewritten. Uh, Ontario dealers, if they advertise a price for a car, that price must be an all-in price. It has to include all the fees and charges the dealer intends to collect except for HST and licensing. And when I say licensing, I mean the actual cost to register and plate that vehicle. Unfortunately, we still see a lot of non-compliance with this law where dealers are surprising consumers with additional charges when they get to the dealership after they've seen a price. That's illegal and it will be dealt with. If you went on our website uh, today, looked under enforcement, you would see the a list of dealers that we've had to unfortunately discipline and that's the the name of the process the discipline process due to the non-compliance and the other area is disclosure uh, at the same time that the all-in pricing laws were introduced they introduced laws on disclosure for example if the vehicle was a former daily rental that hasn't been owned by someone other than the dealer and the rental company that must be disclosed in writing on the bill of sale accident uh, or collision repairs in uh, more than three thousand dollars must be disclosed in writing and so we're still seeing some dealers non-compliant with this uh, and when that happens we have as the regulator we have to take steps to address it and so this isn't really just to protect consumers though is it that's a great point no it's about creating a fair and informed marketplace and a level playing field for dealers uh, because if you were a dealer and i was a dealer and you're advertising your cars with all-in prices and i'm not i've got all these hidden fees the in the advertisement your car is going to look more expensive than mine when in reality it's not i'm just going to surprise the consumer when they end up at my dealership and that's not fair it's not fair to the consumer and it's not fair to you the compliant dealer so so yes, you're right, it's not just about transparency for consumers, it's about creating a level playing field for dealers. So what kind of protections are in place for consumers then? Uh, well, the services that we offer to consumers, if they do have a complaint with a dealer, we have a free mediation service. We have a team of 10 staff and they will assist the consumer to try and find an amicable solution. If that doesn't work, uh, we have 13 inspectors across the province who inspect all dealerships and 16 investigators who can, if necessary, lay charges. And we have seven lawyers on staff who act as prosecutors if we have to lay charges. Um, but I think one of the biggest protections for consumers is the compensation fund, the Motor Vehicle Dealers Compensation Fund. And should a consumer suffer a financial loss as a result of a trade with a registered dealer, for example, let's say that uh, I'm a consumer and you're a dealer and I left a thousand dollar deposit with you for a car and unfortunately you, you went out of business tonight that consumer could get the thousand dollars back from the compensation fund and the fund will actually pay up to forty five thousand dollars per claim okay well thank you very much for talking with us today it was my pleasure thank you, thank you.